All right, in this video, I'm gonna clean up my summer wheels. I just put my winter tires back on my vehicles and it's almost mid-November. And I'm gonna use a whole bunch of Mother's products. Some of them were on sale, some weren't, that I picked up at Canadian Tire. Overall, I'm a little bit split on my opinion on these Mother's products. None of them really worked as advertised or as directed on the box. And I break this Powerball in exactly 30 seconds of use. But in the end, everything worked out. I don't use that mag polish. It's more for polished aluminum wheels anyway. The back and black spray is for cleaning the tires and the wheel and tire cleaners obviously for cleaning the wheels and tires. So you can see I don't really clean these too much. I do spray them off occasionally, but I definitely don't take them off and clean them down. So before I store them for the winter, I'll clean them all up and make them shiny. And you can see there's brake dust pretty pretty well caked in here. So I only really show myself cleaning the one wheel in this video. First thing I'm doing is just taking the garden hose and spraying the wheel down, getting all that chunky dirt and debris off. Definitely the pressure washer might have done a little bit better job, although the directions for this wheel and tire cleaner say just spray it. Doesn't really say use a pressure washer. And the directions on this are pretty simple spray the foaming cleaner on the wheel where you want to clean let it sit for 30 seconds spray it off and more or less that's what i do i probably let it sit for about a minute maybe two minutes so i definitely give it a little extra time to lift the brake dust off than what they recommended but you can see that it didn't take all the brake dust off the wheel there's still quite a bit of brake dust and dirt in between the spokes and you can see inside of the wheel or in the barrel of the wheel it doesn't do a very good job at all in fact it does it does almost nothing it makes it shinier i guess so there's the inside of the wheel you know and granted these were pretty dirty it lifted the dirt up in some spots but definitely just spraying it down and letting it sit for 30 seconds and then spraying it off again it didn't do it. It definitely didn't do the trick. It got them a little clean, I guess, but not overly clean. So now I'll break out this mother's Powerball. I think it's Powerball number two. And I'll try again with the cleaner and the Powerball this time. Now this Powerball is basically just a big ball of foam on the end of a drill attachment. And it costs about $35 after tax. And so it is kind of cheap, but it's also not exactly cheap for what it is, which is just a big foam pad on the end of a drill attachment. And I believe I said I broke it in 30 seconds and you can see I've cleaned four. And you can see that I've cleaned between four spokes and now I've snapped it off. So it didn't last for one full wheel and it broke off the attachment. Ironically, it actually works better now that that end is broken off so these mother's people might want to just skip all of that and not even include this piece of plastic because I found that it works just fine and I end up cleaning all my Mazda wheels and I didn't find my drill slipped or anything like that so you know initially I thought it was kind of cheap that it broke but then I guess it doesn't matter really. Now definitely the Powerball made a huge difference and I would recommend getting the Powerball and then obviously if it breaks just uh, continue on take off that big piece of plastic and just use the metal bar and your drill should be able to hold it just fine. Now, even with the Powerball, it didn't dig into the corners very well. So I did have to go grab a microfiber towel and then dig into the corners of the spokes with my finger and that got everything. So I'm happy with that as it is. Definitely that mother's product didn't clean the wheel like it sort of said it would, where you could just spray it, let it sit for 30 seconds and spray it again. But with the Powerball, and obviously I used the Powerball inside of the barrel of the wheel as well, it came out pretty good. It didn't get all of the road tar and stuff like that off, but I'm not too concerned with that. It's way cleaner, way cleaner for sure. And then, like I said, off camera, I did the three other wheels and probably only about 10 minutes a wheel. So I didn't waste the entire day on it. You could see there's pitting in the wheel and stuff like that. So I would have to get a little more aggressive to get all, to get everything out of the barrel of the wheel. But for the part of the wheel that's gonna face out, I think it looks really good. 
and it did a good job sort of in spite of the mother's products. For this wheel back in black product, I think it does a good job. It does clean up the wheels fairly well. What I would say if you're gonna buy this is it's a, a very low sheen product. So if you want really shiny tires, this is maybe not the product for you, but if you want them to look flat black, then perhaps this back in black product is a better product for you. And all you have to do is spray it on, let it sit for a second or two, and then take a microfiber towel and wipe it down. The only negative thing I would say about using the microfiber on the wheels like this is the wheels are pretty rough and it kind of tears up the microfiber cloth. So that's kind of a bummer. And I ended up throwing out one. After I did this set of tires and my Nissan Pathfinder set of tires, the microfiber cloth was in pretty bad shape. So it is a little bit hard on the cloths. I'm gonna let these sit for a few minutes and let them fully dry off and then I'll show you the difference. So the top two are the ones that I use the back and black product on looks pretty good and then here's the other one so there is a noticeable difference and I think it looks good overall and I do like the flat black look that it has over like a fake shiny tire look now I also gave the Nissan Pathfinders wheels a little bit of a spray I didn't have any more of this wheel and tire cleaner so I just took some regular soap and water and did the exact same thing sprayed them down used the Powerball in between the spokes and then quickly wiped it down with a microfiber cloth and it worked out pretty well. I'm sure perhaps not as well as the mother's product, but the mother's product was also a lot more money and you don't get very much of it. Overall, I think using just soap and water and the Powerball works pretty well as well if you didn't want to buy a specialty soap for your wheels. Anyway, I don't know how to call this mother's product review. Some of their things don't work as advertised and their Powerball 2 definitely snapped within 30 seconds but it did get through it and I did get clean wheels in the end. So I'm a little bit split on this decision. Anyway, thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.